it's like nothing and then BAM that's how I like my highlight to be hey you guys welcome back to my channel fun video for you guys today we're gonna be trying out a whole bunch of new makeup from Sephora this video is in partnership with Sephora which I am so excited about and I have a full face of makeup that we're gonna be trying out today a lot of this stuff has been in my wish list for quite a while I'm talking last fall or winter we we'll trying out some rare beauty some Dior I have a liquid highlighter here from a brand that I think is brand new that we'll be trying out of course I have some eyeshadow palettes here I have a couple smaller palettes that we'll go through today we'll definitely use one of them I'll show you guys all of them but we'll probably just use one I even have a eyeshadow primer that also doubles as a concealer primer, which I think is such a genius idea. It should be fun to try out. I even have a couple body care items in here. I am excited about it. I hope that you guys are excited about it as well. Before we jump into the makeup to the video, I want to give a special welcome to those of you that are new to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, please make sure that you are subscribed before you leave and that your notification bell is turned on if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. We do have a lot of makeup to put on today though, so let's get to it. All right, let's get right to it. My skin is all prepped and ready to go. I did just apply a little bit of the Smashbox Primerizer. Let me pull back this wild mane of hair and let's jump into the foundation. So the foundation that I went with is one that's been on my wish list for a while. It is one that you guys recommended to me. It is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I've been meaning to try this one for a while. I ended up going with the shade 2N. The bottle looks to be a pretty good shade match. I'm hoping, okay, yeah, this looks pretty promising. It's always one of those things that you just never know when you're looking at foundations online, what is going to work out for you. So I wore a turtleneck today on purpose because I want to see how transfer proof or long wearing this one is. Honestly, I don't know if there is a foundation that would hold up to a white turtleneck. Maybe my L'Oreal foundation, but we're going to put this one to the test. So I'm just taking it on my sponge. Oh, this smells really nice. It does have a soft fragrance to it. So just be aware. I feel like most high-end foundations, this is something I've noticed, they often do have a subtle fragrance to them. It's always very pleasant, but it's something I notice a lot more with higher-end foundations than I do drugstore foundations. Okay, that looks very nice. A very natural looking finish. Really good solid medium coverage, I would say. Great shade match. Very happy about the shade match. 2N was the right choice for me today. So before I get to my concealer, I do have a new very interesting product here from Milk Makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer, which also doubles as a concealer primer. Let me just read you guys some of the claims of this thing. It says a double dose to hydrate and hold. Grips pigment, locks on color. And then in the directions, it says apply a thin layer onto clean eyelids or under eye area and blend with fingertips allow formula to dry down completely to activate grip before applying eye makeup can be used with powder and cream formulas that is so cool I wonder if other eyeshadow primers can also be used for concealer I've never tried that before but I think that's such a great idea so we are going to do just that I'm going to apply this to my eyelids and lightly under my just right under my eyes right there kind of like right at the front there mostly and just blend it out with my fingers. Then we'll apply a concealer on top of it once it dries down and then see how it holds up throughout the day. I will try and do a check-in for you guys at the end of the day. We're at one o'clock in the afternoon. Man, I was hoping to film this video sooner. Story of my life. But I do wanna see how all this makeup holds up today. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute and then we're gonna jump over to concealer. So I did get a new concealer. It's the Kosas concealer, which you guys know I love. I got a new shade of this concealer. I got the shade 3.2. Originally I tried out the shade four. So I wanna give these guys a side-by-side -side swatch so you can see how the shades compare to each other. So here is the original 4.0. That's the first shade I picked up. Here's the new shade. 3.2. Okay, perfect. This can be perfect for me in the winter. I always felt like this one would probably be too dark for me in the winter time, so I was very happy to pick up a lighter shade of this so I can use it all winter long. This is one of my very favorite concealers. I absolutely love it. Very hydrating, very thin and lightweight. And let's see how this holds up with that primer underneath. Also going to take the shade 4 for the perimeter of my face. I feel like this one might be a little better match around the perimeter. And actually, I just wanna take a tiny bit of this. I wanna put just a tiny bit of this on my eyelids on top of that milk primer. And we'll just blend that in with my sponge. I 
All right, my skin looks fantastic. Let's move on to my cheek products. So I have a new bronzer here, a new cream bronzer. I'm on a mission, you guys. I am on a mission to find out which cream bronzer is the very, very best. I have a few more to try. And today we're gonna be trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. I was so surprised at the size of this packaging. I'm not quite sure why. I just assumed, I mean, this thing is massive. Compared to like, say, the Elf Putty Bronzer, you get a ton of product inside here. This will last me for decades. I am sure, which come to think of it, this combined with the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer, I should be set on cream bronzer for at least three generations. I went with the shade Amber. I did already swatch this and it feels really nice. Very nice and creamy and emollient. It feels a lot like, so many of these feel so similar to each other, but it does. It feels a lot like the Venti one, like the Patrick Ta one, like the Kaja one. They're just very nice and creamy. Very interesting color. This looks like it's almost an olivey color. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm just gonna swipe this on and then I'm gonna take a brush and we're gonna blend it out mostly with a brush. I'm gonna try blending it with my finger on my hairline. I feel like it gives me a good feel of kind of what we're working with as far as blendability. Ooh, that's pretty. Gotta pull my sleeves down. I put some self tanner on yesterday and I did not do a very good job. My arms do not look very good. That's another reason I'm wearing the turtleneck today. Just take a tiny bit along the sides of the nose. Whoops the lip. Don't worry, I'll keep working with this and blending it out. I'm going to blend that out with this little brush here from Moda. That's right, I've had this brush forever, but it's one of my very favorite cream bronzer brushes because it's so small and so very stiff. Works really good for cream products, especially bronzers. I love this one for my Milk Makeup bronzer. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm going to go back to my foundation sponge. I'm just going around the edge where that bronzer was. I feel like I swiped on just a little, little bit too much, so I wanna make sure it's not too pigmented. That looks nice. I love that shade. It's really warm, but it looks nice and natural. Very nice finish, very easy to blend. So I will keep playing with this. We will see how it lasts throughout the day. Okay, let's jump over to a cream blush. So excited about this one. It has been on my wish list for a long time. This is one of the brands I wanted to try out this year. I know there's a ton of people out there that love this blush. It is the Rare Beauty Melting Blush. I have the shade Nearly Neutral. This looks so so pretty. Prettiest blush packaging I have ever seen. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to give it a little fill here. Actually, I haven't felt this yet. Oh, wow. That feels really nice. Oh, I have very high hopes for this. I think I want to apply this with my finger. It feels a little bit like the Milani one, but even more like smooth, not quite as tacky. Very, oh, look at that beautiful shade. Very nice. I was going back and forth between this and then she has the serum, like the drop blushes that have the little doe foot in them. Cannot decide which one to try first, but I decided to go with this one. And so far, oh wow, that is such a pretty color. Very natural. Like that looks like I just got in from a nice run, except I look prettier than I would then. Not my hair, but my makeup. Very pretty. That literally went on in two seconds. That was super quick. This was as quick as the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs, which are some of the fastest cream or liquid blushes that I've ever tried. They go on literally in like three taps and you're blended and ready to go. That was just as easy. Beautiful color. Really nice formula. Very high hopes for this one. Man, you guys, we are doing good so far. Next up, I have a liquid highlighter. It's from the brand. Oh, I meant to look up how to say this brand. Say, maybe? Sai? S-A-I-E. This is a newer brand at Sephora. I have not tried anything out from them. This had really good reviews though. This is their liquid glowy super gel highlighter in the shade Starlight. I think this looks really interesting. Let's give it a little pump here. Haven't swatched this one either yet. So, oh, whoa, too much. Whoops. I pressed a little too hard. Ooh, okay. There it is right there. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it doesn't look that shiny when you first pump it out. Like it looks like it's gonna be more clear. There's some serious reflect in there though. Ooh, I am so excited about this. Honestly, I don't know the best way to apply. We're just gonna try the finger. I'll keep playing with it and I will give you guys updates soon. I know I've said that with a lot of videos. I do have an update video planned for November as well. So keep an eye out for an updated kind of speed review on some makeup that I've tried that I told you I'd come back and give you my final thoughts on. I've got a big stack of makeup here that I need to give you guys some updates on. I will add this to the list, but wow, you guys, super liquidy. I mean, this feels almost like water going on, but do you see that really pretty 
reflect there, but it's not glittery. I mean, this is super refined. It almost looks like gloss or oil on your skin. It doesn't feel oily at all though. It doesn't feel sticky or oily. It just feels very liquidy. Honestly, I haven't tried a lot of liquid highlighters out. Big fan of liquid blushes, but I don't try a lot of liquid highlighters. So this will be interesting to see how this wears. Beautiful. Very pretty on the skin though. All right, let's move over to brows. So I have a couple of new products for the brows. Both of them are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. First off, I picked up her Brow Powder Duo. I know this is kind of an OG product for a lot of you guys. I was debating back and forth between this and the Dip Brow, but I just wanted to try a powder. I don't know, I haven't done powder brows for a very, very long time. So we're gonna give this a try. I already brushed up my brows. By the way, I do have a new little brush here from Sephora as well. I think this was 10 bucks, which was a pretty good price. And it looks like a really nice, thin, but somewhat, not pokey, but very stiff brush, which is perfect for the brow. So hopefully this will work really well. So I'm just gonna take this, let's start with the lighter shade. By the way, I don't think I mentioned the shade. I got the shade Taupe. I'm gonna start with the lighter powder. We're gonna run that. Kind of along the bottom initially and then brush it upwards through my brows. I used to do my brows before I really was into brows. I used to only use powder in my brows and then I slowly made the transition to slim pencils and haven't given powdered brows a thought since but I thought we would try it today. Let's take a tiny bit of the darker shade and run it along the tail. Am I doing this backwards? Are you supposed to go lighter on the inside, darker on the tail, or vice versa? I'm not really sure. Okay, now the brow product I am so excited to try out. It's also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was recommended to me by you guys. In addition to the clear brow gel, which I am loving by the way, it is the Brow Freeze Styling Wax. This stuff looks very, very interesting. When I opened this to do the swatches that I'm showing you guys right now, look how interesting it looks inside the jar. It's clear, like you can actually see all the way through to the writing on the bottom of the pan. This stuff looks crazy interesting. It's very, very sticky. It actually reminds me of, did any of you guys ever take science classes where you had to do the like Petri dish? This reminds me of a Petri dish for some reason. So honestly, I don't know the best way to use this. I kind of feel like maybe just with the sharp part of the brush, I'll kind of run it through my brows and then we'll just use the spoolie to distribute it. I feel like if I take this in here, because it is quite, it's not quite as firm or as hard as say like the ColourPop Clear Brow Wax. That's more of like a solid, like basically bar of soap. This has some serious tack to it. So I don't wanna put my spoolie directly in there. We're just gonna kind of run it through using the brush side and then comb it. There are the finished brows. I think my brows look really nice, very, natural looking. I feel like they look a little bit on the large side, but in a good way. Like I like the size of them. Look a little bit softer at the same time. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but I really like that combination so far. I'm gonna keep playing with it. And I'll keep you guys posted. Let's jump over to eye. So I have a couple different eyeshadow palettes that I picked up. Let me walk you guys through what I grabbed and then we'll pick one of them and do an eye look today. Let's start with the one that is brand new to me. It is from Makeup by Mario. I have been so curious to try out something from this brand, particularly their eyeshadow palettes. And I found this little quad. It was on sale and it looks so pretty. You guys know I'm a sucker for a taupe or a silver. This is their Glam Quad in Rosy Glam. I also picked up another Natasha Denona Mini. I got the Mini Glam palette. I wanna do a comparison of these shades compared to the actual original Glam palette. I don't think I'm going to use this one today, but I will show you guys right here some swatches of this one. Looks very pretty. You guys know how much I love these little mini palettes. I think they're fantastic, even though they're priced for how much product you're getting. Makes them a little bit pricey, but I feel like it's a good way to try out Natasha Denona. And you guys know how much I love Natasha Denona's eyeshadow formula. Last but not least, I ended up picking up one of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I got the Chocolate Brown Obsessions palette. I know these have been out for a while. These have been on my kind of soft wish list, if you will, for a while. I, I love Huda Beauty's eyeshadows especially these Obsessions palettes. But I've mentioned this a million times in case you're new here. I have all of the Haze Obsessions palettes, which I love them, but I had some problems with some of the shimmers inside those palettes. But you guys, I've already swatched this one. I haven't worn it yet, but I did swatch it and these shimmers feel very promising to me. I think this might be a fun addition. I love the richness of these shades. They are 
absolutely stunning swatch so I think this will be a really fun one to play with. I'm very tempted to try that one today. I think a really rich chocolatey smoky eye would be really pretty but I've got to try out the new Makeup by Mario formula. So maybe what we will do today, let's mostly focus on this palette by Makeup by Mario. I want to try and use maybe all of these shades. Actually I'm not sure. I might do like these three shades right here. We'll see. Maybe I'll try and dip into all of them but let's use one of the lighter transition shades from the Huda Beauty palette. Let me zoom you guys in a tad and we'll see what look we can come up with. All right, you guys, here are the finished eyes along with a couple coats of the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is actually a mini that I picked up last Christmas time. I'm just barely getting around to try it. I really like this mascara. Very, very nice and buildable. As for the eyeshadow, wow, you guys, this silver is intense. Maybe even a little intense for my liking, which you guys know I love molten silver on my eyelids, but this one was seriously out of this world. It is really, really pretty. The rest of the shadows went on really nicely. This shade in the corner, the I'm assuming this is the matte formula. It's a very interesting matte formula. It reminds me a little bit of the look of Natasha Denona's cream to powder formula. It has almost a sheen to it, but it's not a satiny sheen. It's more of just like a natural kind of creamy sheen, but it doesn't feel creamy to the touch. It's really interesting. I was very impressed with it. I'm excited to keep playing with this. Last up for the makeup items, let's get into the lips. So I got a new lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, one of her Lip Cheat lip liners. This one is in the shade Pillow Talk. We'll try that one out today. I also have a new lipstick. This one is from Bite Beauty. This is their new formula, which I've been dying to try out for many, many months now. I got the shade Praline. Oh yes, perfect. That looks like a perfect nude pink for me. I'm really into nudes that have a little bit more pink in them. This looks like a perfect shade. And last but not least, we're also going to try out a lip gloss from Rare Beauty. I am not one to try out a lot of high-end lip glosses, but this thing had some seriously good Review, so I thought we would give it a try. Here is a little swatch of it. I went with the shade Nearly Neutral, which is the same shade name as the blush that I tried out. Ooh, that looks pretty. It's nice and sheer. Ooh, that's a very interesting color. That should be fun. So let's do that combination and then we will let the hair down and check in with some final thoughts. All right, and here we have the finished makeup look. Very impressed with everything so far. We will be doing a check-in in about eight hours, so I will come back and let you guys know some updates on how everything wore throughout the day. Real quickly, I wanna show you guys one more thing that I picked up that's not makeup related, but this is one of the few non-makeup related things that I will buy from Sephora. It is from Sol de Janeiro, so I picked up a set here. This has a full size of their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It also has a medium size body scrub. It includes a shower cream gel and a body and hairspray. I feel like this is a really fun set. Maybe if you want to divvy these out for Christmas time. I'm thinking about doing that, which I probably shouldn't have announced because my sisters watch my videos sometimes and I might have a hard time parting with these. You guys, this is like my favorite smell in the whole world. I was once someone that looked at people that bought this and thought, who would spend that much money on a body cream, but then I got a mini inside a BoxyCharm years ago. I keep this bottle to refill, and I've been hooked ever since. I love the smell of this stuff so much. I don't use it every day. It's more of a like special occasion kind of fragrance for me, but I absolutely love it. And if you're looking for a good gift, I think this could make a fun one for the holidays. If you have a couple people you wanna divvy some of the products out for, or just keep it for yourself as I might do 
Sorry, sisters. So that is everything I picked up from Sephora today. We're going to wear this. Well, I, I'm going to wear this throughout the rest of the day and I'll come back tonight, do a check-in and we'll see how everything wore. Right guys, it is 8.23. I tried to make it eight hours. I made it about seven and a half, but I want to do a check-in before I shut down for the evening. I am trying to get this video edited tonight. So let's just have a quick look. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, I never look great by the end of the day, but I feel like let's just go through some of the main things today. First up, foundation. I feel like it wore pretty well. I have a bit of a natural kind of oil or glow coming through, which I actually don't mind, especially on a foundation that has a good natural finish. I kind of like that by the end of the day. I do think it's kind of worn off in a couple areas, like these sunspots I have on my forehead, this spot on my cheek, but not too shabby. And I did not powder this foundation today, so I might try and powder it and see if it lasts a little bit longer. As for the bronzer, I am still seeing the bronzer in place. I'm not sure I'm seeing the blush, and I'm also, actually I do see the highlight there maybe the highlights worn off just a little bit i definitely have some oil here on the side of my nose so that's kind of interesting i mean i don't do check-ins super often at the end of the day usually i just jump right into the sink when i wash my face at night the eyeshadow looks great i did want to check on the eyeshadow and the concealer primer no creasing actually i see maybe one little crease mark right here but no creasing on the lids the shimmer still looks really nice and smooth and sparkly that's usually what will crease for me in this little front section right here underneath my eyes actually i'm seeing a little bit of my mascara kind of flaking down so that's kind of unfortunate but the concealer looks really good i feel like i still have some coverage under there i'm not seeing any creasing in my lines under my eyes as for the lip products um the lip liner lasted great everything on my lips lasted up until dinner time none of it's on there right now this is just a lip balm that you're seeing probably the biggest surprise for me was the lip gloss. Guys, I think this is a fantastic lip gloss. Actually, let's put a little bit of just the lip gloss on right now because I really love how this feels. It's a really comfortable gloss and it's such a beautiful color and I love the applicator, which I'm not usually that picky about applicators, but this one is really nice. It's like a mix between a soft doe foot and like a plastic paddle. So incredibly comfortable, such a pretty color. One more thing I wanted to update you guys on is the brows, my brows look really, really good. That's a really cool brow product and particularly talking about the wax. I'm excited to keep playing with this. I'm gonna need some more time with this one. This is a product I will most definitely keep you guys updated on soon. Keep an eye out for that, but this is one that is really, really impressed me today. So those were the highlights. Let me know if you guys wanna see me come back and feature one of the other eyeshadow palettes in an upcoming video. Maybe we can do that in the month of November. I would love to know from you guys if you have tried out any of these products. Did they work for you? Did they not? Please let us know down in the comments below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Let me give you one last reminder to subscribe before you leave. I hope you guys have a good day or night and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, I was really hoping I'd have a better hair day for this video, but my hair did not get the memo. It's so frizzy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Chili on my forehead. <laughs> Chili splatter all the way up on my forehead. Oh, man. F-O-X. Fox. Name that movie.